क्यू बेसिक लूपिंग इंट्रोडक्शन टू लूपिंग लेट अस कंसिडर रिपोर्ट कार्ड जनरेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ योर क्लास टीचर फॉर थर्टी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सिचुएशन even though marks obtained by individual student is different the procedure to calculate the percentage and total marks obtained by every student is same so she probably may have to write the procedure 30 times or she has an alternate to repeat the set of statements for 30 times to generate report cards for all students similarly if you want to run a race of 1600 meters on your playground it will be difficult for your sports teacher to make a track of 1600 meters instead he creates a track of 200 meters and asks you to run eight rounds here also you are repeating the task of running 1600 meters over eight rounds of 200 meters each as in the examples one task is repeated several times similarly in a computer program sometimes to perform a specific task we may have to repeat a set of statements many times it is called looping a looping statement reduces the calculation to just one set of statements similarly you can perform the same task repeatedly if a loop is used in a program uses of looping qbasic provides various looping statements the most popular loops are for next and do loop statement these loops are usually used to solve mathematical problems repeatedly for example to print a list of numbers which are incremented with fixed intervals in games where you have to monitor continuously for a keyboard input or mouse input types of loops you can create different types of loops in qbasic for next nested for while when and do until for next loop it is a loop that works for a fixed number of times like 5 times 10 times or we can say n times purpose to execute a series of instructions a specified number of times in a loop the syntax of for next loop is for counter is equal to initial value to final value step index value loop body next counter the statements within the for and next keywords form the loop body which is repeated in the loop counter or control variable is the variable that will decide number of times the loop will be executed step is the amount by which the counter will increase or decrease each time the loop is performed let's take a few examples example For x is equal to one to five, print I am looping. Next x. In this for next loop, the print command will be executed five times, as x will take values from one to five with the increment of one. That is one, two, three, four, five. Observe that. step has been ignored and will take 1 as the default value of step this will be the output of the program example a program to print 1 to 10 using for next loop for c is equal to 1 to 10 print c next c in this loop c will have 10 values from 1 to 10 so the loop will be performed 10 times the step is not mentioned so it will take step of 1 the output will be value from 1 to 10 nested for loop when a loop is placed inside another loop that is a loop written in the body of a loop 
the inner loop is called nested loop. Let us take an example to understand nesting of loops. Example, for x is equal to 1 to 5, print this is outer loop. For y is equal to 1 to 3, print inner loop. Next y, next x. In this example, the x loop is the outer loop and y is the inner loop written in the body of x loop. y loop is the nested loop. The loop will execute like this. First, x will be executed and will print this is outer loop and then will enter the inner loop. Next, the inner loop y will be executed and will print inner loop three times. Now, next x will be executed. The program control will go back to for x statement and the loop is repeated. It will print this is outer loop and then will enter in the inner loop. The inner loop will again be executed three times. This process will continue till the value of x becomes 5. For each value of x, the y loop will be performed three times. That is 5 times 3 is 15 times the print inner loop will be executed. Whereas print this is outer loop will be executed only 5 times as it is part of outer loop. Example, write a program to print table of 2 to 5. Let num is equal to 2. Let c is equal to 1. For num is equal to 2 to 5, print table of comma num. For c is equal to 1 to 10, print num semicolon x semicolon c comma is equal to semicolon num into c. Next c. Print next num end. In these loops, num loop will be performed 4 times and the c loop will be performed 10 times for each value of num. The output will be table of numbers 2 to 5. The output of table 5 is shown here. While when loop. The while when loop is used when we want to create a conditional loop. We do not know how many times the loop will be performed before the loop. The syntax for while when loop is while condition loop body when. The statements in loop body will be executed till the condition is true. When the condition evaluates to false, the loop will be terminated and program control will be transferred to the statements after the when statement. Example, a program to print odd numbers between 1 and 10 using while when loop. Let n is equal to 1. While n is less than or equal to 10, print n n is equal to n plus 2 when here the loop will be executed till n is less than or equal to 10 the condition will come false that is the loop will terminate when n is equal to 11 do until loop it is a conditional loop in do until loop the statements inside the loop will be executed until the condition becomes true. The syntax is do until condition loop body loop. Example, write a program to print series from 1 to 10 using do until loop. Clear screen. Let a is equal to 1. Do until a is equal to 11. Print a a is equal to a plus 1 loop end in the loop until a is equal to 11 the loop will be performed the loop will terminate when a becomes 11 that is the condition becomes true the output will be numbers from 1 to 10